Hey guys, super bummed today. It's out riding. My left crank arm comes loose. I had to ditch the ride early. Called every bike shop in the area for the size nut that I need or driver that I need to tighten this thing, this little cinch bolt. It had loosened up, backed itself out. I don't know how. But um, as you can see, it says on there, 16 millimeters, 37 foot pound of torque, and it's 16 millimeters, a 16 millimeter hex. Who has a 16 millimeter hex? I don't. You know who else doesn't? No bike shop does in the area. You know who else doesn't have any? Home Depot or Lowe's. So, I have to improvise to get this thing cinched down so that I can salvage some type of little ride today. Um, so this is what I'm doing. All right, so I went to the store and I had this idea in Lowe's, but the guy told me he had a 16 millimeter hex nut driver at Lowe's. So I drove all the way down there and sure enough, they didn't. So um, I had this idea while in Lowe's, but decided, you know, what the hell? I don't like Lowe's. So I left Lowe's and went to my local hardware store because I knew they'd have nuts and bolts. So what I did is I went in there, I grabbed a 16 millimeter socket off the wall. Um, basically, you know, grab a 16 millimeter socket and then I took it to where they have all of their nuts and bolts and I started looking for nuts and bolts that fit the 16 millimeter socket. So I did, I found a nut, this nut, and I found this bolt. They both fit the 16 millimeter. So if you look in here, they fit. And you can see, well, I've already, there you go. So it turns the nut, the clinch nut. What I did was I got a nut and a bolt without matching threads. So when you thread this on, it only goes on a couple of threads and then it gets stuck. And the reason I did that is so, because I didn't know if this was gonna stick out of here far enough, which it actually does. So I could actually just put a 16 millimeter socket on this and it'll be fine and I don't need this bolt. But in case this slipped in any more and I wouldn't be able to get that 16 millimeter on here, I got the cross threaded or the different threaded nut and bolt so that I could cross them up and then put the 16 millimeter on this. I have a deep well 16 millimeter so it would come in and I'd get lots of leverage and be able to tighten it up. And I could throw it on torque wrench so I can get that 37 pound feet of torque. But since this fits in there, and sticks out this much. One of the first things I'm gonna do is stuff a little bit of paper towel down into the bottom of this socket. Because the socket's so deep, way deeper than I need it or want it to be. Um, I'm going to shove this down in there and that way it won't let the nut fall in there. See this thing's rounded on one end which actually works really well inside here, inside this little cinch, cinch bolt. Um, and it fits fine just like this but it does move around a little bit and I don't want to put this on and then have it fall down into the socket and, kind, and then go and try and torque on it when it's crooked like this. So just putting a little bit of paper towel into the socket so that the nut doesn't go in any further than necessary should help out. So I had, in, in my calling around to the, all the bike shops around here, I got a hold of one of my buddies who's uh, the top mechanic at one of these bike shops and he told me uh, that if this thing backed itself out while riding, which it did, that I should not grease it but throw a little bit of blue Loctite on it. So I had already taken everything off cleaned it and re-greased it. So I'm gonna pull this back off, pull the grease out of it, at least out of the threads, and then um, put a little bit of blue Loctite on it and put it back in. Then I'll torque it down. Sorry about the fan noise, but I'm dying. Let's 
since I'd already greased the threads, I was just trying to get these threads as clean as possible before I throw some Loctite in there. And he said to be sure to use the blue Loctite because it doesn't need to be held too much. Um, but definitely the blue will not hurt any of the metal, not make anything too difficult to get out and break free, but it will keep the uh, clinch nut from, or cinch nut from backing out again. And I'm gonna do that on the other side too because in doing this, I realized that the other side's also uh, backed out a little bit. A little bit of blue thread locker. A couple of drops goes a long way. I'm gonna go ahead and add a tiny bit more grease to the spindle. There's already a fair amount inside the crank arm too. Clean threads, thread locker. Went ahead and left some grease around here at this flange here. I figure that'll help guard against some moisture and water and whatnot from getting in there. All the, all of the bike mechanics tell me that water always wins, so I know I'm not going to completely seal it out with the grease, but just make it a little bit more difficult for it to get in there. All right, here we go. We're going to see if it works. A little cumbersome. It would be much easier if somebody was here to hold the pedals. I'm just trying to be real gentle with it. I think I need a little bit more, a little bit more. So I put a lot more paper towel in there because by pushing on it, it's compressing it and pushing it down even more, the paper towel. So by putting a lot in there, I should be able to put lots of pressure against it and it stay. Let's see. Oh, 37 foot pounds. Trying to do it nice, nice. It's tough. And hold the pedals. So we put a hip on. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Shazam. Now, this thing here, this is, I don't even understand why these are so plastic. These are made out of plastic, but. I guess it's just to take up the slack and everything so it doesn't need to be like super tight or anything. You just turn it till it's snug and then hit it with the uh, with an Allen key and it's actually not an Allen key. It's a it's a torque, but it's like a T8 or a T9, which I don't even have. And I've got some pretty small torque bits, but um, I'm going to use this. What is this? Two millimeter Allen key. And hopefully it can get tight enough. It doesn't need to be crazy tight just so that it doesn't back itself out. I think that'll work. You don't want to be able to back it out by hand either. So it, it seems like it's pretty snug. Just a tiny bit more. I think that's it. I'm gonna do that to the other side. I'm gonna retorque this down on the other side and um, I'm gonna go ride it and see if that has fixed me up. Suck that it uh, cut my ride short. It's like noon already, so it's the like hottest part of the day here in Florida, so um, whatever, it is what it is.
there's a little pump track by my house. So I'm going to see if I can go check that place out. As you can see, I'm using my one-up bike rack as, as a work stand. And I do that quite a lot because it's actually pretty nice. As long as you don't have to spin the back tire or front tire, it, um, it works pretty darn well. I think my paper towels compressed too much already. They have some more paper towel. Man. Paper towel likes to compress on this side for some reason. Or maybe that's just not making it in all the way. I don't think going in that way it's making enough a connection, so I'll try this side. There it goes. Now this is stuck in there. Great. Give it a little bit of wiggle. No need to force it out. And there she goes. Voila.